Hello, I'm Abby. Welcome back to Fluix's channel. Today we're discussing how to optimize the pump slash fan curve in the BIOS of your PC, workstation, or server. Before we continue, I wanted to let our audience know that our team at Fluix specializes in increasing the performance of servers and workstations for computer manufacturers with our high-performance TriSwift Turbulent AIOs. With our TriSwift AIOs, you can increase the performance by up to 25%, leading to lower CPU temperatures, higher sustained processing speeds, and lower wasted cooling energy. You can book your demo unit now by visiting our website, fluixpro.com. Now back to the video. Now optimizing the pump and fan curve can take the performance of your workstation to the next level. Refer to your motherboard manual to find the fan configurator in your BIOS. Here you will find the pre-selected options to control fan slash pump speed depending on the temperature readout of your CPU or GPU. Once you choose the custom layout option in the BIOS, you will see a simple graph. In the Y axis you will see pump slash fan speed as a percentage and in the x-axis, the temperature readout of your CPU in Celsius. Here's where you get to play around and optimize for a fan curve that fulfills your specific needs. If you want a quieter system, for example, even during intensive workloads, you can lower the fan speed as the CPU temperature increases by dragging a point on this curve. You can also set your fan speed to 100%, for example, while you keep your fans in a medium speed preset. This allows you to try numerous configurations at once. You will need to experiment to figure out what's best for your needs. But if you need some help, here's what we recommend to our clients when using our TriSwift LGA 1700 AIO. Our pump is extremely quiet, so you can run it at an aggressive inclination angle on the pump curve. Our fans are also have a great airflow and static pressure, so you can run them at a quiet profile that gradually increases with CPU temps. We recommend a ratio of 1 to 1.3 for your fan curve. For example, with a CPU temperature of 40C, multiply that by 1.3 to get 53% for your fan speed. This is a good balance between performance and noise level. Do the same thing at 60C and 80C for your CPU temperature. Take your CPU temperature and multiply it by 1.3 to get your fan speed percentage. So that's how you optimize the pump slash fan curve in your PC's BIOS. I hope these quick videos are helpful. If you like this type of content, click the like button, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and always remember, be turbulent.